And now we come to the most common database that one would find. It's the relational database. The relational database is basically the pillar is the concept of relations. Relations are tables, tables of columns and rows. So this one is a relation. A relation is basically a set of records one row per record where each record is a tuple of attributes. One attribute per column. Okay, so the attribute is a column. All records have the same attributes, and so all records have a value for, for the given attribute. So we'll give some examples, but this is basically the structure of the relation. Now, a few important things. One, is the concept of primary key. Primary key is a unique identifier of a row. So, of a row in a table. Okay. So in a number of cases, uh, some of the attributes might be used as keys, but the fact that this needs to be unique typically makes it so that databases generate their own fictitious primary keys. So it's just a number that is guaranteed to be unique for uh, for each row of the of the table. Okay, so one of the attributes is a primary key. Typically, is just added as the primary key or ID to the attributes that are meaningful for the human beings. Then this one gets added. It doesn't really, it's not something that the user will be concerned with. Is used within the context of the database, and, and we will see how. And then another aspect is the SQL, Structured Query Language. This is basically a programming language in the most widely used to query and maintain. So to insert data, to extract data, to delete data, and to interrogate the database to extract valuable information. So we're not going to talk about this particular language, but that's the language that uh, is used in, the, in relational databases. We talked about the primary key. This basically uniquely specifies, identifies a tuple within the table with one row. Now a database has multiple tables. Each table has their own entries. Each entry has their own primary key within that table. But then we have relationships. Those are logical connections between tables. <clears throat> And these logical connections are established by using the concept of the foreign key. So the foreign key is basically, the foreign key is an attribute in a table. Let's call it table one. That has a value of a primary key of the other table. Let's call it table two. So now by putting into an attribute of the current row of the current table, the primary key of another table, we're basically creating a connection. 